All right, so I just finished rebuilding this caliper. You can see it's really clean, has all new seals in it. New bleeder screw, and cap, and you can see how dirty this one is. So I'm gonna clean this one up the same way. Um, but first I'm going to show you a little trick how to get the piston out very easily. Alright, so I got most of this stuff off from around the caliper and now we need to take the piston out. I see some videos um, showing to just grab this part with a, a pliers and pull it out. Um, can do that but let me show you a quick easy way of doing it so you have your that's where the brake line attaches make sure your bleeder screw is tight and then if you just take a little bit of air See it's starting to push out there. And there it is. It's out. And you can see how dirty that is. It needs to be cleaned. I got a new seal for it, new outer seal. Um, new bleeder screw and bleeder screw cap so there you go easy it doesn't don't need to mire this up at all just blow a little air in the uh, brake line hole and a little patience it'll pop right up because this is the part of the piston that you do not want to scratch or mire up in any way if you do that um, yeah, potential for brake fluid to, to leak past there, past the seal, and then your caliper would leak. And so yeah, this is the tip that I use. It's just a rubber tip. It helps because when you push it into the hole, it seals off and allows you to get a lot of pressure down in there. Alright, so just a quick tip for you today. Thanks for watching.